Hi, you're with Chandeep and Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the has one value function in DAX. Let's just get started. All right, so the has one value function does exactly what it says. It checks that if the column that you mention inside of the formula has got one distinct value or not. In terms of syntax, what you would write is has one value. You will write one column of any particular table. And the has one value function is going to check if the column that you mentioned has got one distinct value or not. If it has got a distinct value, just one distinct value is going to give you a true. Otherwise, it's going to give you a false. In this particular case, I have just mentioned that particular column name from the table and this column certainly doesn't have one distinct value. It has got more than one distinct values. We have A, B, C and D. Hence, this formula is going to give you a false. Now, let's just jump over to Power BI and take a look. How does this formula work? All right, I'm in Power BI and here I have loaded two very simple tables. One is my sales table and the other one is the calendar table. And a one to many relationship has been set between the sales table and the calendar table, obviously using the date column. Now, I've also made a very simple pivot table here, which is where I have the year and the month these two columns have been taken from my calendar table and I'm going to write a very simple measure just to check that if the month has got one value or not right so I have written a very simple measure which is has one value for the month and has one value function which is where I have inputted the month column of the calendar table like I said to you in the presentation earlier has one value function is going to only accept one column of any particular table and that's the column that I have mentioned right here in the month column of the calendar table I'm going to drag this formula to the pivot table here and let's just take a look at the output. Now, obviously, you get a bunch of trues and falses, but we also have to understand that why are you getting these trues and why are you actually getting this false? So against the month of Jan in the year of 2001, you get a true. What this is trying to say is that if I go take a look at my calendar table against this filter context, month of Jan and the year of 2001, I just find one unique value in that entire column, which is the month column, and hence it is going to give you a true. If I take a look at the total level, I don't find one unique value in the month because obviously, if you're taking a look at the year level calculation, you will have 12 distinct months, and hence this gives you a false. Let's just also physically take a look at the calendar table as to how this function works in, in terms of its internals. So I'm just gonna hop over to my calendar table and let's just go evaluate for the month of Jan. So I'm just gonna maybe apply a filter here and say that, hey, I'm looking at the month of Jan, say okay. And I'm looking at the year of 2001, say okay. Now this is the table that the has one value function will take a look at once the formula is running against the month of Jan 2001. Now, obviously, if you take a look at this entire column, there is just one unique value. This is just month of Jan. That's all that it has. Now, obviously, if it has got one unique value, it's going to give you a true. So is the case going to be for Feb, March, April, and so on and so forth until all the months and at the total level this filter is going to lift up so it'll just going to cancel that filter and you will have all 12 months of data data so you'll have jan data feb data march data and all the months of data and it doesn't find one unique value against the year level it finds 12 unique values or 12 distinct values and hence it gives you a false at the total level which is another way of saying that how many unique values do you have so if i just maybe write another measure just to help you understand better so i'm just just going to say new measure and this time I am just going to maybe write a distinct count of the month here and just close the bracket press enter you can see that I just drag that measure to my pivot table you have one a unique value against the month of Jan one unique value against the month of Feb but at the total level you have 12 unique values which are the 12 months of the entire year now this function which is the distinct count function can also be converted in the same behavior as you would expect from the has one value function if i just say that are you equals to one the output is going to be the same as you would have got with the has one value function all right now what is the benefit of using the has one value function now with the has one value function i get to know that am i working in the pivot table at the month level or am i working at the total level this can significantly help me to drive different calculations for the totals. Let me just help you understand that. So let's just say that I have this total sales calculation and maybe at the month level, I really want to show the total sales, whatever that number it is. But at the year level, I don't really want to show the total sales. Maybe I just want to show a blank, right? Now, how do I figure out that am I working at the month level or am I working at the year level? The has one value function is going to be extremely beneficial for us. So I'm just going to maybe make a new measure. In that new measure, I'm just going to maybe write if has one value 
which is of the month. If this output is going to be true, that means if you're working at the month level and the month has got one unique value, that means you're working at the month level, then I just want to show the total sales calculation, which I have already created. Otherwise, I just don't want to show anything. So I'm just going to close the bracket, press enter and drag that measure to my pivot table. And what is going to happen is that at the month level, you will see the very calculation that you would want to see. And at the year level, you're going to see the blank. Now, obviously, I have mentioned a blank, but you can also drive any other calculation that you would like to see at the year level. All right, that was all about the has one value function. That was a simple one, of course. But if you have any questions around this, haven't understood anything, please feel free to put down a comment and I will be glad to reply. And also a side note about my DAX course. If you're trying to learn DAX in a more structured way, learn everything step by step, and I will bring you up to a level where you can start solving more sophisticated, more real-time problems of your own data, I suggest that you take a look at my DAX course. It's going to be highly beneficial. If you have any questions, put down a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.